Sabbath according to the book of Exodus, the Sabbath is a day of rest on the seventh day, commanded by God to be kept as a holy day of rest, as God rested from creation. The Dead Sea Scrolls Uncovered, a translation by Robert Eisenman and Michael Wise, reveals the Essene calendar as celebrating the Sabbath commencing on the fourth day of Aviv page 192 three days after the new moon of the Passover month then celebrated on the 11th, 18th, and 25th. The second Essene month reveals a Sabbath on the second day exactly seven days from the 25th of Aviv Sabbath witnessing a solar calendar continuation for the rest of the year. The law did not mention the Sabbath by name, but referred to a day of rest on the venerable day of the sun. On the venerable day of the sun let the magistrate and people residing in cities rest, and let all workshops be closed. The lunar Sabbath theory is rejected by most Sabbatarian groups and Judaism as false and misleading but the recently discovered Dead Sea Scrolls translated by Eisenman and Wise show the Essene Jewish calendar revealing the first Sabbath of the month of Nisan being on the fourth day three days after the new moon and kept every seven days for the rest of the year. Day of the Vow Day of the Vow or Dinganas Day was the name of a religious public holiday in South Africa commemorating a famous poor victory over the Zulu. The Babylonians additionally celebrated the 19th as a special evil day, the Day of Anger, because it was roughly the 49th day of the month completing a week of weeks, also with sacrifices and prohibitions. Unification Church The Unification Church has a regular day of worship on Sunday, but every eight days Unificationists celebrate the day of Ahnchil, considered as Sabbath but cycling among the weekdays of the Gregorian calendar. Massachusetts, uncharacteristically, does not specify the weekday in its day of rest statute, providing only that one day off from work is required every week, an unspecified weekly day off is a very widespread business production cycle. From 1929 to 1931, the Soviet Union mandated a five-day week, with each day designated by color as a state rest day for a different 20% of the workforce, families usually did not share rest days, 5FC4D3DB23B9.